Hello, welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. And we start the forecast with hot air over the UK, followed by the inevitable thundery breakdown. The weather becomes a little less dramatic after that. By the end of the weekend, it looks like winds will be from the west. And when that happens, we tend to get cool and somewhat changeable weather affecting us in the British Isles. But the heat peaks on Thursday. High 20s, low 30s possible across parts of England and Wales. Humid air as well, uncomfortable nights, muggy conditions and thunderstorms breaking out fairly widely through England and Wales on Thursday. Frequent lightning, large hail, gusty winds and intense rainfall for some, but these will be hit and miss thunderstorms and they'll be out of the way by the early hours of Friday. Then our attention turns to the Atlantic. It's trying to move in these weather fronts indicating a change in the weather. But at first they only bring that change to Scotland and Northern Ireland. And lots of cloud here, although many parts of the UK will start off dry on Friday. There'll be rain later from the northwest. But you can see there still hot, still fairly humid in the south. And that heat and humidity is never far away. It's over the near continent and there are some suggestions that we may be at risk from that heat and humidity and potential thundery rain clipping the southeast of England around the early hours of Sunday. But for now, we assess that at only a 20% chance. For the rest of the country, we're starting to see winds from the west or the northwest bringing in much cooler and more changeable weather. And into next week, you can see what happens to the jet stream. Now, these are high level winds in the atmosphere. They tend to steer low pressure systems across the Atlantic and send them our way. And when the jet stream is in a flat position like this, which it looks like it will be through next week, what we'll tend to see is low pressure systems followed by ridges of high pressure followed by low pressure systems. So we're back to typical British summer weather. Rain followed by showers followed by sunny spells followed by rain, showers, sunny spells and repeat. It will be quite breezy at times, especially in the north and temperatures will be closer to average and that means it will be cooler than it's been during the last few days. And beyond mid-July, well, some of the Longer range computer models are suggesting that high pressure will start to become more of a feature again. Could mean the return of summer or at least some warmer spells of sunshine.